Cam Newton on Brock Purdy. Again, players in the Niners locker room were talking about this, joking about this. I probably could say who they were. I could definitely say who they were because it was on the record. Fred Warner. Yeah. Fred Warner. Straight up joking about this, being like, hey, you know, everyone's got an opinion, but if you don't know what Cam Newton said, he essentially said Brock Purdy's a game manager along with Tua and Dak, and they're not guys who are game changers, guys who can put the team on their back like, you know, a young Cam Newton or Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray. I don't know. What do you think of Cam Newton's assessment? First of all, I, I want to say that when you watch the whole clip, can't really the point from Cam Newton was that CMC should be the league MVP. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm with him. I'm on board yeah, there. Right? That like, yeah, that's, that's, that too. yeah, I love that. I love that take. Yeah. And when he talked about system quarterbacks or or what have you, uh, he went more in on Dak Prescott than he did any of the other quarterbacks. Uh, he used Dak as the example more than any of them. And whether you agree with Cam or not, what I can't really stand with this whole situation is that when you have journeyman quarterbacks like JT O'Sullivan, um, Chase, uh, what was it? Chase Daniels was his name, I think. Those guys, when they have an opinion, we all have to listen to it and respect it because they're ex quarterbacks and ex players. That's that's what I'm told. Mm-hmm. Like if they disagree with my take, then I have to listen to it. But when an, when somebody who actually won an MVP and was much better than those guys speaks, oh, he's a clown. He's jealous. He's doing it for clicks. All those things. But really, if anybody can speak on having to carry a team for a season to win an MVP. I think Cam Newton certainly can talk about it because in a 16-game season, throwing to guys like Ted Ginn and Devin Funchess, he had 4,500 total yards and 45 total touchdowns to lead a 15-1 and Panthers (laughs) team that eventually got to a Super Bowl and did lose, but he won an MVP and deservedly so. So It was an an all-time great season, especially when you consider what was around him offensively. So... It's fine to disagree with him. I'm not saying that what he says is gospel and we should listen to everything he says because of that. But I do think it's very disrespectful the way that people are talking about him based on his opinion as if he never did anything in the NFL. I think that that's a little over the top. And what he, his, his distinction essentially was what he said for Tua, for Purdy, and for Dak, their job is to not throw an interception. And for players like Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, and young Cam Newton, their job was to carry the team. I I sort of understand the distinction he's trying to make, but I feel like if you watch Brock Purdy, there are instances of him doing that. Yeah, I think think his point is valid in the sense of maybe what you expect from Brock Purdy. We'll we'll just talk about Brock Purdy. Let's root. I mean, Dak and those guys, they're a whole different topic, but the 49ers could probably walk into 12 wins with average quarterback play. They Mm -hmm. could. 11 wins at worst. I mean, this is a team that went to an NFC championship and a Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo. And we all know what Jimmy Garoppolo is in this league. So I understand the premise that he, that he's right. If you remove Brock Purdy and replace him with average quarterback play, the team still wins a lot of games. But that quarterback is not going to be in the MVP conversation. That quarterback is not going to elevate the play of people around him the way that Brock Purdy has. And so I think that's where he's wrong. But his his premise is not wrong in the fact that when you're talking about an MVP, removing Brock Purdy or removing any of the guys he's talking about, whether it's Tyreek Hill, uh, CMC, Brock Purdy, removing these guys and replacing them with adequate level play at the same position, who is most valuable to their team? And I agree. I think CMC definitely fits that mold. I think Tyreek Hill has... We found out this last week that Tyreek Hill is clearly more valuable than Tua. He is. There's no question. And... You know, may, maybe CMC is more valuable. Maybe Purdy's more valuable. But I, I think you can make a case for either one of them on this particular team. Yeah. Yeah. What was I going to say about Purdy, man? 
I had it a second ago, and then I lost it. <laughs> MVP, Brock Purdy. Yeah, I guess so. He just seemed bitter. And I thought it was funny that Fred Warner was laughing at him. Like, yeah, I mean, a, I remember Cam Newton at the Super Bowl. I covered that Super Bowl against Peyton Manning. People thought Cam Newton was going to be like the greatest quarterback of all time. Now he's a punchline. Yeah, I, mean, I think the players like, oh, there's Cam. Ah, oh, bless his heart. He really said, bless his heart. He did. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. I, we all know what yeah. that means. That basically means yeah. F you is bless what that heart. means. Yeah. Uh, and, and here's the funny thing I am not a Cam Newton fan at all. I can't stand Cam. I hated Cam when he played. Super didn't, inaccurate. I, yeah, I didn't. I didn't like the way that he played the game. It wasn't my style of quarterback. Uh, when he went to New England, I had debate after debate saying that he was going to be washed. But I have to respect that he won an MVP award in this league and did put together a very, very good season with not much around him. Those are facts. I mean, they just are. So I don't know, man. I just I didn't. When I when I watched the conversation in its totality, I the last thing I took out of it was the Brock Purdy side of it, but everybody took the Brock Purdy side of it. And I was like, man, I really felt like he went at Dak more than he did Brock. And really his whole point was CMC should probably be the MVP, which is okay. I can agree with that take. And like the top three quarterbacks this year, like seem to be Purdy to a Dak. And I think Cam was sort of trying to say like a humble brag, like the top, the best three quarterbacks in the league. I was better. Yeah, and maybe that's maybe there's something to that too, you know. And and Cam, I mean, it's no su surprise that he kind of has a take like this because he has said that he thinks he's still one of the best 32 quarterbacks in the league. So you know, I'm sure I'm sure he looks at guys like Brock Purdy, for example, and is like, "Dude, this guy is tiny compared to me. He doesn't have the arm that I have. He doesn't have the athleticism I have. Like, he ain't nothing." I'm sure is what he thinks, and I think that that's. Not surprising from a competitor. More but accurate than Cam, I think he's wrong. I think he's yeah. certainly wrong when I'm he says that. But yeah, kind of. I can see why he would say that. 